Okay, we're under the third method. This is called the elimination method. This one might be a little bit harder for you than the substitution, which you all did very well last lesson, which is good to see. Um, but this is generally the method you use most of the time when you see simultaneous equations, because most of the time you do simultaneous equations, you haven't got one of the letters by itself. Right? Remember we said we use the substitution method, one of the letters by itself? That's what you've all been doing in the last lesson. But here we see our two equations. We've got x and y both on the same side. We could transpose. We can take things over and get one of those by itself. But there's an alternative method. It's called the elimination method. So, stay, start the same way. Label the equations 1 and 2. Now, in this method here, we do exactly what the method name says. We try and eliminate which means get rid of. You know, you eliminate someone, you get rid of them, don't you? Okay, so our aim here is to get rid of one of the letters. Now, how do we do that? We do it by adding the equations together. This one's already set up for us nice and easy. If I added these two equations together, I'd add the x's, 3x and the 1x together, make 4x. But if I add the plus 4y to negative 4y, what happens? It disappears, doesn't it? It gets eliminated. That's the name of the method. And I just do the calculation. So that's what we're going to do here. So what we normally do, if, the, if you can do a straight elimination like we can here, you draw a line, and over the side here you say what you do. I'm going to get equation 1, and I'm going to add it to equation 2. It helps in this method that you line up your x's, line up your y's, line up your equal sign, line up your numbers. Right? So if you're very neat, it's very easy to see what you're doing. If you're if your equations are all over the place, it doesn't come. So try and line up things is the secret here. The equal sign is going to stay in the same spot. So as I said before, I'm going to add this equation to this equation. So I look at each letter by itself. 3x plus x makes 4x. 4x. Plus 4y plus negative 4y makes no y. So I don't write anything. We've eliminated. Y has been eliminated. Here I've got 18 plus negative 10. What's 18 and negative 10, mate? 18 and 10. That's 8, doesn't it? Right. By eliminating the y, I've only got one letter left, and I can solve this equation. How do I get rid of the 4? Divide both sides by 4. So I'm left with x equals 2. Is that the whole answer, do you think? No. no. What are we? We're finding a point of intersection, aren't we? So it's got to be an x and a y value. So this stage, I've just got 2 something. Okay, now, what we do next is very similar to what we did in the previous one, but in the previous one, we substituted, we had one of the letters already by itself, didn't we? It was nice, easy to choose which one. Here, I've got to pick one of these two equations and put 2 where I see x. I've got to substitute back in. Generally, it doesn't matter which equations, but the same amount of work. Personally, without having to think too hard, don't, I don't look at this, oh, which one's going to be easy? I just say, I'm just going to always substitute back into equation 1. Then I don't have to think about it. I just do. So that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to substitute x equals 2 into equation 1. Which means everywhere I see x, what am I going to put in its place? 2. two. So equation 1 says 3x. I don't write 3x. So now I'm going to write 3 times 2. I substitute in brackets when I've got a times in front of the letter. Plus 4y equals 18. By doing that substitution here, then the y's by its I only got one letter in the equation, so I can solve for y. 3 times 2 is 6, plus 4y is 18. <coughs> get rid of the 4, uh, get rid of the 6 by taking 6 from both sides. And then I get rid of the 4 by dividing both sides by 4, I get y is equal to 3. So the solution to this problem here, where do these two straight lines cross? They cross at the point 2, 3. That's what I call a nice, easy elimination problem because at the start of the problem we had the same number in front of the y's and different signs. It doesn't always come out that easy to. So let's look so at this second example. No, that's not from the book. I'm going to do this one now. This is example number two. Sheet yet. Oh, the third. When I look at the 
these two equations, when we look at these two equations, I label them, one and two, back to this. Now, if I add these two equations here, I get, I'll end up with 3x, everyone appreciate that? And I'll end up with 2y. What haven't I done if I add these two equations? I haven't, I haven't eliminated. So adding them straight away is not going to work here. So what we do is we do a little trick. We change one of the equations by multiplying. Now, best thing is to decide, in this case here, I'm going to get rid of the x's. I'm going to eliminate So to eliminate the x's, what does this x have to become? What number would have to be in front of this? Negative 2. Alright, so what we do is we change that whole equation by multiplying by negative 2. So this is going to become negative 2x. Negative 2 times negative 3 makes plus 6y. Negative 2 times 7 is negative 14. Now, just so we keep track of what we're doing, I'm going to call that equation number 3. Equation number 3 is a like a half brother to equation number two. They're very closely related because they're actually the same. They're just in disguise. This equation here, everything's been multiplied by negative two, so they're actually the same equation. As long as you multiply everything in the equation by the same thing, you still got the same equation. But so we'll just call it three. The three and two actually are the same. So now, if I look at equation one and equation three, if I add them together. I'll get rid of the x's, won't I? So once you've got one of the letters, the same number but different signs, that's when you're ready to add. So I'm going to add equation 1 to equation 3. You need to be careful here, because you've got three equations, okay, you've got to make sure you're looking at the right thing. So equation 1 and equation 3. 2x and negative 2x makes no x. Eliminates. That's the whole point of what we're trying to do, wasn't it? So then I look at the y's, I've got 5y. Plus 6y, what's that mean? 11 Equals, and I'm doing equation 1 and equation 3, so 3 and negative 14 make negative 11. Who said 17? <laughs> okay. We've got to get y by itself, so divide both sides by 11, so it makes y equals negative 1. So my solution here is going to be something negative 1, isn't it? Right, I said before, save mucking around working out which is the easy one, I just substitute that answer into the equation 1. So I'm going to substitute substitute y equals negative 1 into equation 1. I don't know if that's the easiest one or not, I just do equation 1, I don't have to stop and think. So I go back to equation 1, I'm going to substitute for y. So 2x plus 5y, I'm not writing y, what am I going to put in y spot? Negative 1 is equal to 3. Look, I've replaced y in the first equation. Need to get rid of the brackets there, so it's 2x take 5. Be careful of your signs, especially if negatives involved. And now we undo this equation, which is you know, back to a year 8 level 1. Take the 5 over first. <coughs> Opposite of taking 5 even is? Add 5. Add 5, good, so it makes 8. And then I get rid of the 2 by dividing both sides by 2. I get x equals 4, so my answer here would be 4, negative 1. Okay, can you turn to the third sheet please? I'm going to do the first question for you. So that means you're only going to have to do 7. But I need to explain how the code thing would go to the third sheet. When it rains cats and dogs, what do you step into? Very funny joke. Oh, we did this one last. Right, x plus y equals 7. You might want to write this on the space provided. I do in each case. First thing I do is label the two equations. This is question one. Yes, this is question one. Can you see that? X plus Y equals seven. Let's concentrate, please. 2x plus 3y equals 18. That's the first question on that third sheet. And all the ones on this sheet you've got to do by elimination. All right? They're all elimination ones because they've all got x and y on the one side. Okay, the first question you say, if I simply add the two together, will it eliminate a variable? 
Will it eliminate the x or the y later? No. So, I need to decide which letter I want to get rid of. In this case, you've got two choices, so you always x or y. I can get rid of the x. If I add these two together, but what would this, it wouldn't be x, it'd have to become negative 2x. So I need to multiply this whole equation by negative 2. There was an alternative. What was the alternative I could have done? I could have multiplied by negative 3 and then I could have eliminated the y's. It doesn't matter which one you eliminate. Everyone understand that? So I'm going to write out what that becomes underneath here. Negative 2x, negative 2 times plus y is negative 2y is equal to negative 14. A very common mistake I've seen over the years is students will multiply this side of the equation perfectly and they'll forget to multiply the number on this side. So if you can, if you can do it and you can't find the answer, that would be the first thing you should check. That you multiply that number also. The whole equation has to be multiplied by that number. Now I can eliminate by adding. So I'm going to add equation 2 to 3. In this case here, because I changed equation 1, equation 1 and 3 are the same equation, aren't they? Because I changed 1. So, 2x plus negative 2x makes no x. They eliminate it. That's why we did that, wasn't it? 3y and negative 2y make just y. 18 and negative 14 makes 4. So my answer is going to be something or other 4. Isn't it? That, was a nice, that came out nice and simple because... I didn't end up with anything else with the y here. This is one y. Nice simple one for us. Over here we had 11 y. So I had to do the extra step to find what y was. Okay, what do I do with my answer? Substitute. Substitute which equation? One, two. Substituting to one. I'm going to substitute y equals four. Now, be careful. The equation one isn't with that negative two out the front. Equation one is what? This original. X plus y equals seven. So I substitute so where I see that's going to become x plus instead of y, what do I put in the last spot? 4 is equal to 7. Get rid of the 4 by subtracting, and x equals 3. And the answer there we're looking for is 3, 4. Can I tell you what to do now with the code? So if you read the instructions, it says you go find 3, 4 down there and you shade that box and you cross the box out. So it's in the top row, can you see that? Mm -hmm. Yep. So you cross that out. Now the leftover boxes will have numbers and letters in the leftover. Is that understood? And what you have to do then is put the letters in the correct order, in the number order. So let's say for instance you're left with box, the last one on the top row is 1P, then the answer, you put P first. Does that make sense? The number